It's not resistance to change that's our problem now, because everyone knows we're in a new world and just about everybody has ideas for how to navigate it. The time for evangelism is passing. What we need now is a way to manage the huge new demands multi-platform, multimedia journalism place upon us. We've always had to make a lot of choices. It's the nature of the journalistic beast. And now we have to make many more. We have to make judgments about the best use of reporters' time and the best opportunity to draw quality audience. Monitoring page views is important, but even the best analytics are no substitute for professional judgment. The only way to make these choices well is to put them in the hands of the people best suited to make them on a day-to-day -day basis. In our newsroom, those people are the heads of our sections and news departments. At the top of the organization, the task is to manage the friction that comes from managing two cultures. There is anxiety and frustration about how to reconcile the world of New York Times journalism with its familiar skills and established standards to a world where the standards and skills are still being invented. We built up in the newspaper a system of rules and an organizational chart that have served us well in print, but when it comes to digital journalism, we're making a lot of this up as we go. And we have to be willing to accept that the rules may not be so clear-cut in the digital realm as they are in print. Mm -hmm. Bill Keller put it this way in recent staff meetings. He said, we need to be a little more comfortable with ambiguity and improvisation. That's a message that will not be heard unless it comes from the top of the organization. Ultimately, integration is a bet on professionalism, on the ability of a newsroom that's reinvented itself many times to do it again. It speaks to a conviction that innovation can coexist with tradition, that quality is non-negotiable, but not immutable. Readers are demanding many new things for us. They want to be active, not passive, to participate in conversations and join communities. And for these, we know we must change, and we're cultivating new skills and learning to share our space with others. But readers also demand the things they've always demanded. Reliability, enterprise, intelligence, discernment, integrity, fair-mindedness, sophistication. These are things we already have in our finest newsroom. And some things should not change. Thank you.